Today we'll be talking about screen recording on laptops and relive on AMD based systems. Here is the timetable so you can go to exactly what you want or simply stay for the entire thing. First, screen recording. There are many recording options such as MSI Afterburner, OBX, Fraps and such. However, two of them do stand out. AMD's Relive and Nvidia's Shadowplay. Shadowplay and Relive will give you vastly better size to quality ratio and will also take way less of your performance. Compared to the rest, you will only lose a few frames per second as opposed to 10 or even more. But here is the issue. Relive isn't available on laptops and Shadowplay, if it does work, you don't get desktop recording. However, Relive can be made to work on laptops even when using an integrated GPU. As a matter of fact, I am using an AMD integrated GPU and a dedicated Nvidia GPU. Shadowplay did not work and Relive works flawlessly. Well, more or less. It has a shit ton of bugs, but it gets the job done. Now let's see how to get Relive and then a list of all possible warnings about not getting Relive and bugs you might encounter with it. How to get Relive. First, I take no credits for this, but instead would like to showcase the miracle that Reddit user Darkstar Anku is. Link is in the description. Some things to note before we proceed. These are official drivers, but older and only sort of a control panel. These are not OEM drivers, which means if you get something special from your manufacturer's drivers, it might not work. I have tested this on HP's Pavilion 15 and Asus's TUF 505 DY, and nothing has changed from what I could have seen. If you do lose something, it is up to you to decide whether it's worth it or not. If you don't like it, simply DDU those drivers and reinstall your OEM drivers. Now, there are three methods of install. They are rather similar, so I won't explain anything in depth except for the method 1, which seems to work every time. Before any of the methods, you should use DDU, the AMD cleanup utility. If you didn't use it before, it will do the following. It will boot you into safe mode, remove all AMD related drivers and boot you back into normal mode. After that, you need to install the standard Adrenaline 2020 drivers, which you can get from AMD's site, and you will be looking for drivers appropriate for your device. In my testings, it won't work if you use the OEM drivers, even though for both the laptops tested, OEM drivers were pretty much the same as the AMD drivers. However, if you want, you can still try using your OEM drivers, thus you won't need to use DDU. You will also need all the relief drivers, which you can find on this link. Once you extract the file, you'll get a folder looking something like this. First, you need to use the registry file. Don't worry, here is what's in it. It adds a value to your GPU drivers registry and it is completely safe. Next up, install the drivers. And finally, once the install is done, restart your device or you can use the restart.exe file. The exe file will just force the restart and drop you an error message if something went wrong. Once you restart, but not shut down, but restart. You should have a new AMD Radiant settings with a relieve tab in it. Now, let's go over some bugs. There is no relieve overlay. You won't have image sharpening if you did use it before. VR will be all sorts of fucked up. Using instant replay or the thing which saves the previous minute of recording works, but you need to record something for a second and then it kinda starts working. Meaning, once you enter a game or you're using your desktop, you first need to record for a second and then instant replay will start working. But sometimes you don't need to do that, I'm not really sure what triggers it. The first time you start recording, your frame rate will be low for a second or two. This resets with every game that you open. Also, if for some reason your frame rate is stupidly low, exit the game, disable record desktop and then re-enable it again. This of course happens only when record desktop is enabled and seems to happen only if you enable it while in a game. Also, I recommend using Heft's encoding since it gives you way better quality for the same bitrate. And if you use instant replay and if you have enough RAM, 
set it to system memory instead of your HDD. For more information on hefts, here is a link explaining it a bit, in the top right corner. And that's it, you can now record all the weird shit you see, for almost no performance impact. If you have any questions feel free to leave them down below, and subscribe if you want to see more. Have fun! Idril, we must move carefully. Ah!